everyone. Very warm welcome to you and welcome to an overview of the Chef Cloud Security product. I'm Michelle, the product marketing manager here at Progress Chef, and we have Sharon, our global product manager. And we're going to talk and highlight some of the cool features that we're introducing as part of the Chef Cloud Security product. Hey, Sharon, how's it going today? Hi, Michelle. Uh, super excited to be here, and it's great to introduce Chef Cloud Security and uh, talk about some of the new features we have introduced. Uh, but before I dwell into the demo, uh, let me walk you through what exactly is Chef Cloud Security. Um, so Chef has been a pioneer in ensuring security and compliance for a whole bunch of host systems. Uh, we cover a broad range of applications, database, as well as operating systems. Uh, but with Chef Cloud Security, we are uh, kind of entering into the uh, you know Cloud 4A, providing best practices for all major cloud providers, AWS, Azure, and GCP. Uh, enterprises can also build their own custom policies besides the CIS benchmarks that we provide out of the box. Uh, they can pretty much leverage our open source framework, Chef and Spec. And additionally, uh, customers also get the best practices for their Kubernetes pods and Docker, all of which are based on the CIS benchmark. And all of this really supported by a very strong visibility and governance framework, giving you that multi-cloud reporting, uh, giving you those easy to read, filterable scan reports uh, with very detailed view on what actually is going wrong, uh, what is the code that's playing behind the scenes, and eventually, uh, you can take all of the data into any of your third-party tools. It can be uh, you know, ServiceNow, Kibana, or any other tools uh, through the API integration that we provide from Chef Automate. With that, uh, let me uh, you know, take you right into the Chef Automate. That sounds good. Thanks. Before we get started, uh, let me showcase how easy it is for you to connect your cloud account or your cloud-native environment to uh, the Chef Automate. So I'm going to... Uh, you know, get started with uh, on the settings page. Uh, I have a node integration and uh, I can create any new integration. I have AWS here. I can provide, a, you know, uh, any specific identifier and I can also provide the uh, the access and secret key for the uh, AWS account. And then I'm going to save this integration. Uh, just for the demo purpose, um, I have an AWS East account, uh, which is basically uh, my production account. Uh, which really means that I need to be extra careful. This particular account is completely misconfiguration free. I'm going to trigger a scan on the account through scan job. And I'm going to choose a specific AWS account. And I'm going to add the, the specific CIS benchmark. And I can provide a a name for this scan job so that I can refer back to it later. I can also specify a schedule um, so I can, you know, if uh, I can specify when I need to uh, have these particular scans um, started as well as ended. Uh, I can also repeat the scans for uh, every few minutes, every hours, uh, every few days, uh, weeks or months so that you really get a, a continuous view of your compliance posture. That's awesome. So Sharon, you mentioned you have support for other cloud profiles. Do we have a similar flow for those as well? That's right, Michelle. Uh, we have a similar flow for uh, the other cloud providers as well. Uh, in fact, we have the integration. All you need to do is pretty much create the integration just like I showcase for AWS, for your Azure or uh, for your Google Cloud account. And uh, once you do that, you pretty much get into uh, your compliance scans and you can choose that particular account and you can create a scan job and uh, you pretty much get the results there. Chef is in fact one of the uh, first cloud pro first provider which is certified by CIS for all the three major cloud providers, AWS, Azure and Google. Oh, awesome. And to be the first provider certified by CIS for AWS, Google and Azure, that is very noteworthy. Hey, can we take a look at the Azure? I'd like to see that as well. Sure. Let me go through the um, Azure profile. So here you have uh, the Azure profile. Um, you know, we have a bunch of controls. We have close to 92 controls and each of these particular controls uh, pretty much go through your Azure account and they make a check for the configuration uh, based on whatever is uh, considered appropriate and uh, whatever is considered as a best practice uh, as per CIS. 
So just so I'm clear, we're not just looking at the system here. This is you looking at my Azure configuration around like user access management or network roles, right? Yes, that's right, uh, Michelle. So let me take you through uh, one of the examples here. So I have this control, uh, which basically, um, you know, which basically looks for guest users in Azure Active Directory account. And what this check does is, uh, you know, since Azure Active Directory, and uh, what we do here is uh, uh, the inspect code, which kind of runs at the back end and kind of iterates through each of the users within your Azure Active Directory, and, uh, you know, kind of flags an error as part of your um, Azure AD. So uh, this is just one of the example for, uh, for the Azure uh, um, Azure CIS benchmark. Great, so give it a few seconds and we can see if the report is there. That was fast. Yeah, absolutely. So let's go through the report and, um, and I'm going to specifically choose a fail control um, so that I read really criticality of the configuration check. Um, yeah. So this is one of the um, you know one of the checks that we have made uh, on the on the AWS account, and what this check basically does is um, and it's it's a very common failure um, exposing X3 bucket or making it publicly accessible is a very um, you know is a is is a very critical uh, you know misconfiguration uh, because this really exposes your S3 bucket to the outside world. Anyone can log into the S3 bucket and can read in the content. Um, and specifically, what the inspect code is really doing at the back end is it's pretty much iterating through each of your S3 buckets, and it is uh, you know flagging an error wherever it was not expe expected to be made public. Like for example, you know we have this particular bucket here, uh, which was not supposed to be made public. And you have the uh, you know the inspect source code at the back end, uh, pretty much doing the trick for you. Is is there a way that I can take this data to external systems? Yes, absolutely, Michelle. Um, so you can take in each of, uh, you know, you can take in the uh, information. Um, you know, there are ways to uh, download this as a CSV if you just want to use this report for auditing purpose. Uh, you can also download it as a JSON uh, if you want to integrate uh, your JSON file with any of your external systems. Um, and we also have a bunch of integration uh, through our data feed capability within Chef Automate. Um, so you can create a new integration within ServiceNow, Splunk, um, or else stack, um, and you can export all of this data uh, into uh, your um, external systems. Um, apart from this, Chef Automate also provides the APIs. Um, so, uh, you know, outside of these um, systems, you can also gently use the APIs and pull the data into your environment. So, uh, you know, that, that's pretty much feasible from the Chef Automate end. Awesome. So, can you help us with what you have for containers? Let's say I have a Kubernetes environment, basically a KA cluster. How will you help me? Or let's even try the Docker environment. Sure. Um, yes, we do have uh, we do have the uh, profiles for both Docker as well as Kubernetes. So again, we have a, a bunch of controls here, um, uh, you know, which basically uh, makes checks on your Docker host, and it looks for uh, you know specific configuration based on the CIS. And if the configuration is not um, accurate, it basically flags an error. Uh, I can just take one of the example. Um, it's a good practice to really have separate partitions for containers. Um, if that's not, then this particular control uh, pretty much flags you an error. Um, and you have the inspect code, which basically does this for you. Let me show you how easier it is for a customer to also connect the Kubernetes environment to Chef Automate. Um, so all that uh, you know we need to do is uh, you get into node credentials and you can create a credential uh, which is basically you can add in the credential for your Kubernetes master node, and uh, you can provide a provide a username. You can provide the corresponding password, and you can save this particular credential. Uh, I have in fact done it for one of the Kubernetes cluster uh, master node. And once you've done that, uh, you know you pretty much do this. Uh, you know the same process as you have done for the other cloud scans. Uh, you pretty much go through your uh, scan job. You create a new scan job and you choose a specific node. Um, so what I've done here is I have selected the Kubernetes master node, and I'm going to select the Kubernetes CIS profile that needs to be run. And I'm going to provide a name for the scan job. Um, I can also set schedule 
um, if required. And I'm going to save this Kubernetes scan job and let it run in the background uh, while Chef does the, uh, you know, while Chef actually scans the Kubernetes uh, cluster and looks for any misconfigurations. Okay. So what would you say is really the differentiator for Chef? Sure, Michelle. Um, so the biggest differentiator for Chef is the fact that we are a proven leader in validating system configuration. Uh, we have done this in the past, and we have an expertise in monitoring and reporting configuration issues, uh, specifically the compliance specific issues. So you get a very uh, resilient, scalable environment that increases security um, and reduces risk. Uh, we also firmly believe in the coded approach. Uh, in fact, uh, Chef has been a pioneer in leading the evolution from infrastructure as code to policy as code. And with policy as code, you basically have all the three teams. You have infrastructure, security, and compliance teams all coming together and uh, pushing their code into a single pipeline, uh, into a single framework. We are also truly multi-cloud. Uh, we pretty much scan all type of environments, your cloud environments, cloud native environments, containers, Kubernetes, um, even virtual machines, Windows and Linux virtual machines. So in a sense, we are truly hybrid cloud. Um, and what customers get is they get to manage both their cloud as well as their on-prem environments uh, using the same tools, using the same processes. And uh, they get a single pane of glass where they can review the compliance and uh, the security posture. Um, so that's that's those are you know kind of the biggest differentiators for Chef. Well, this is great. Now, can we go back and look at K8? You know, we see that um, the Kubernetes misconfiguration scan has been pretty much completed. And I'm going to pull the report. Um, I can choose one of the field controls. So just as an example, uh, you know, uh, ETC daemon is one of a critical daemon within your Kubernetes cluster. And CI is basically has certain regulations with respect to the data directory ownership. And uh, if that's not set, uh, you know, uh, the, the inspect code pretty much flags an error. So there have been a couple of instances where, um, you know, this was not uh, sent, and uh, that's that's been pretty much flagged as an error from the inspect code. And you also see the inspect source behind the uh, behind the uh, in the in the background, uh, which pretty much you know kind of uh, looks for that particular check on the etc daemon. Okay, I can't believe it. There you have it. You just showed us in about what five six minutes how we can use Chef and protect your cloud native environment, safely use the environments to have your applications develop seamlessly and with agility. That's incredible. What I took from this is where it's fast, it's detailed, it's easy to use, you can filter it, you can export it. Chef's the first provider certified by CIS for all three, AWS, Azure, and Google. Using that coded approach makes things more seamless and we can scan any type of environment over multi-cloud. That's incredible. Thank you so much for taking the time to show us that. And as always, for the viewers, if you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you. Please feel free to reach out to us. We're only a click away.